Hi, this is a quick video for students who have made a circuit diagram in Circuit Wizard, a circuit diagram something like this perhaps, and you've also made a PCB and you want to check whether the PCB matches the circuit diagram. By the way, this was just automatically routed. It's a horrible layout. You can see the layout much better in normal view, but don't worry about that. We're just going to confirm this matches the circuit diagram. So to do that, we click Project, and then go to PCB Components, and then go to Quality Check. The very first time that you do this for this circuit, you have to click Save As. If you don't, you're going to encounter problems. So just quickly save that. doesn't matter where. And then my recommendation, just leave everything else ticked. OK, we want all the checks to be done. And the one thing that you do need to be aware of is if you have multiple, and I think most students don't, but if you have got multiple tabs for like different circuit diagrams, make sure that you choose the correct one. So for that reason, if you have multiple tabs, you're best off naming those tabs as well. But this this uh, document is quite straightforward. Only got one circuit diagram uh, on uh, one one tab as well. OK, anyway, so let's just click on OK. And it tells us there are no issues with connectivity, no issues with the component values in the layout and, and report, no issues. OK, so that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, if we were to introduce an error, so a common sort of student problem is a little bit enthusiastic on the rerouting or something like that. So uh, let's now go on to project, PCB components and quality check. And this time around, you will find that there are warnings. OK, now those warnings identify the pin numbers that are affected. I'm fully aware that most students find this uh, report quite difficult to understand. But uh, if you want to give it a go, you probably it would help you if you can see the pin numbers as well. Sorry, that's around there. So if you want to view the pin numbers, you can go on to view and then display and then display the pin numbers like that. And then you get those pin numbers which uh, match up with uh, the pin numbers which are identified there. OK, right, that's it. Basically, um, let's just undo that um, error that I introduced like that. OK, so it should be possible now that we can do a test and not have any warnings. So let's do quality check again. And yep, no issues. What I recommend to students, this isn't so much about the quality check. This is about uh, making changes without introducing errors. Uh, what I recommend, by the way, you don't need the copper area kept on there for the moment if you don't want it. Uh, what I recommend is click on a track, go on to routing and then choose interactive routing. With that exception, that's going to make it a lot, lot easier for 99% of students. OK, I'm going to click off. So I'm no longer selected on anything, accidentally moving anything, perhaps. And then I can then move these things around. I'll press Control R to rotate. It's a little quicker doing things like that. I'm going to move this around and I'll rotate that one around. And you, hopefully you see that um, it's not too difficult. Now I'm going to be uh, rotating some things around. Um, let's move that one, say, over to there. And um, by the way, notice that I've made my uh, PCB area a little bigger because it's much easier to do it when it's big. And then you can always reduce the size later and I will uh, rotate things around and then move them around like that. And then once once I've got things uh, so they are looking nice and neat and easy to understand, then I bring them together and make them uh, more compact. OK, so which uh, I'm not going to do now, but uh, you get the idea. So let's just do PCB components, quality check and let's do the check and no issues found. OK, so that's it. Um, there's an awful lot of other stuff that I, you know, if I were uh, talking about this in the classroom, I would explain about things like pad sizes, replacing um, these these two uh, screw terminal connectors, which are generally not a good choice. Um, loads of other things, track sizes, all, all things like that. But um, I will leave that till another day. In fact, I have posted videos. So if you want to look back through my old videos, you might find something useful there. But this in this video anyway, if you watch the video, hopefully you're now at least familiar with project, PCB components and quality checks. So if you found that useful, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, 
feel free to subscribe. I post lots of videos about electronics and home engineering and yeah, various stuff like that. So maybe there's something for you. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.